Hey, uh, do you like it? Come on, man, love it. Uh, love it, love it, love it. Sometimes you don't have to say I, because it already means, it already means that uh, the subject is you. So today, this is our lesson, common American phrases. We will begin from day three. So if you haven't watched any videos of mine, the common American phrases, I do recommend to get back to watch any videos, maybe day one, day two, right? Because that will be important to improve your everyday conversation, right? Are you ready? Let's get started. So now we do have like five phrases. You can take a look right now. Five phrases or five expressions in American English. So let's talk about the first one. Basically, we might say ain't. This word, many people, they pronounce this word like what? So I'm going to tell you how to pronounce this correctly. Ain't, like that. Ain't, it, the, and truth. Right, with the TH sound at the last. Truth, truth. So we can sound or we can pronounce. Maybe we read all together. We got ain't it, ain't it the true, ain't it the true. But because we got like letter T here or consonant T here and also with the, with the sound I and also with the sound T, so we got together, we need to combine sound together like that. Ain't it, ain't it. You have to make clear, you have to make skill by saying that. Ain't it, ain't it. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? You can say a little faster. Yo, ain't it the truth, man? I don't believe in it, right? So that means... Isn't that just the way is it is, right? Isn't that isn't that just the way it is? It tries to uh, use, it try to confirm some kind of like would be true or not true, or you just want to say, oh, that, is that true? Is that real? Right. You can use simple expression that you can maybe like, is that true? No, I don't believe it. Uh, you said it true, is it like that? You said, you said that it's true, isn't it? Like this way. So isn't that just the way it is? Or ain't it? Ain't it the truth? You can sound this a little faster like an American style, right? Ain't it the truth? Ain't it? Ain't it the truth? Like this. Okay, the second one, let's talk about am I right? Okay, simple, but you can use this in your American style. You can sound and talk to your friend like this. Basically, if you want to sound like an American people, I do recommend to learn about the American pronunciation. Number one, number two, learn American accent. Number three, you have to learn American casual conversation. Learn how American people, they speak natural phrases or natural sentences in their spoken English or in their daily life. You can do that. Once again, right here, am I right? So we actually have another uh, option. Isn't, right? Isn't that so? Isn't that so? You can sound a little faster if you want. Like, uh, isn't that so? Isn't that so? For example, um, if I go to do something and uh, I believe what I'm doing is wrong, or maybe I believe what I'm doing is right, and then I would question or I would ask anybody, am I right? You know, am I right? Or is, isn't that so? Isn't that so? Isn't that right? Or I could use like short form right. Is that right? Come on, man. Is that right? Yeah. Am I right? Or am I correct? Like this. You could use am I correct? When I talk, when I have the conversation with a Meta Bro team, I mean a Facebook Meta Bro team, so they talk to me. Am I uh, Am I right? Am I correct? You know, because they want to ask an information, what they have provided would be correct or something else. Because information should be inaccurate and also could be accurate. And you have to give very specific or detailed information like that. All right, number three, anything else like that? Anything else? Yo, my friends, anything else? Maybe uh, you are going to the shop, okay? And then? You want to, uh, to buy something more or you're not sure, more or less. You're not quite sure to do so. And then the seller, they might question you. Um, anything else means uh, go to, uh, maybe they want to ask you like, will there be anything else, Mr. T? Will there be anything else, Mr. T? So I could say, um, that's it. 
nothing more, nothing more, nothing less. That's it, you know. Okay. Number four, at the end, at the end of the way, at the end of the day. Sorry. Number four, number four, at the end of the day. Yes, at the end of the day, when everything is over, when everything is last, right? Everything comes to an end of itself, right? So, uh, for example, like, we could say this, you know, as the matter of fact, having, having life, we shouldn't be uh, forever. We cannot live permanently. We cannot stay on earth or we cannot be here like constantly or forever. We will be lasting. We will last for our own life. I mean, we will come to an end of our day or at the end of the day, we will die, right? Everybody's gonna die, even though me. No one cannot be alive forever or constantly. No, we cannot do that for good, right? Hopefully you understand this fresh. So you say at the end of the day means when everything is over. Yeah. I'll wait for the end of the day, like this. Uh, ready, can I have your money? Ready, can I borrow any money from you? And I said, ah, oh, wait for the end of the day. Maybe, ah, oh, maybe everything would be over, like this. Number five, love it, you know, love it. You can sound a little faster, love and it. But you can have together, you know, like this. Love it, love it, love it, you know, love it. Uh, go to I love it, you know, where your friend probably questioned you Hey, uh, do you like it? Come on, man. Love it. Uh, love it. Love it. Love it. Sometimes you don't have to say I because it's already means It's already means that uh, the subject is you so you just want to say like this love it You know, okay, that's it about today lesson day three of the American phrases common American phrases. A lot of them would be used in American conversation or American nat natural conversation. I don't know. If you learn today, you think this video would be important for you, for everybody, especially your friends, share this video, subscribe my YouTube channel, Effortless English with Ruddy. All right, do, do that. So I'm gonna be thankful for your help. But also I help you as well, like this. Bye-bye.